Well, commiserations, Gary. I know you're not one for making excuses, but five games in 13 days, it seemed a bridge too far tonight. Yes, in one way, but they've had five games in 13 days, John. They've probably got a little bit more of a bigger squad than us. We've had our injuries, but, you know, we, we need the break, John. We need the break. Uh, it was a tough game coming here tonight. It's been a tough little run of fixtures at the present time over the last four games when I think to myself, you know, Forest Green top, Cheltenham second, Braintree fifth, and then coming down to Dover, which is always a tough place to come. So, you know, uh, didn't get off to the ideal start. You know, Jake Cole's done very, very well to save the penalty, and we feel we've had a reprieve. But I'm afraid to say, before we shook our heads, uh, we found ourselves 1-0 down. The goal really very similar to the second goal all the way at Braintree, um, you know, early on. And 1-0 uh, down, it gives them a lift. But I, you know, I felt that we had a lot of possession first half, John. And I felt that, you know, possession we know don't score goals. But I just felt that in the final third we lacked that cutting edge of quality uh, which you need and every time they came forward over the 90 minutes on the night I felt that they were a lot more dangerous and you know over, over the 90 minutes Jake Coles had to make some good saves and we can't have no complaints John. Uh, why do you think it is, Gary, that the goals have dried up? Because certainly earlier in the season, or even against Geisley, we looked so dangerous going forward. And, you know, tonight, as you say, it all looked a little bit flat and as though we could be out there all night and not really get anything. We, we're, 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 we've met a match a little bit at the moment, John. We're playing against, with great respect, uh, better sides, no disrespect, over the last four games. And when I look at the likes of Forest Green, Cheltenham, Braintree, Dover, no disrespect to the other teams we've played, but I think that we've, you know, found it a little bit tough lately. I think that you can go without certain players for a certain period of time, and we're a very young squad. We ain't got too many leaders at the moment. The big plus is what come out tonight. Mark Ricketts is back. You know, it's a massive plus for us. Joey Jones is definitely back now. You know, Kieran's been playing well. And I do feel now that, you know, apart from that final third uh, where we certainly lack a little bit of quality, hopefully, and we defend properly, we start, you know, we need that break. Their mate days is important to us now, John, and uh, regroup before we play Southport at home. And Gary, you know, in, in, the, in the time that you've got off, how, how will you use that? Is it a question really of analysing perhaps what's going wrong and trying to correct it? Or is it a question really of the players trying to relax a little bit and try and get their strength back? I think, I think it's a combination, John. I think we do need the break. There's no doubt about it. Don't matter what football club you are, at what level you play, five games in 13 days. And when you're down to, with greatest respect, bare bones in respect of our numbers and what we've got and players are going out there and playing it, it's took its toll on us it, it's took its toll on us we're not looking for excuses you know and you can't feel sorry for yourself we have to turn around as I said to the players I'm not knocking the effort I'm, I can't knock the effort but we're giving cheap goals away at one end at the moment Braintree two goals the other night and no disrespect the two goals we conceded here at Dover tonight from a defensive point of view they're cheap goals you know, we wasn't doing that at the early part of the year where you say, well, is that because you smell Yakabu's not there now or this and that? We can say, we can say lots of things, John. We, we, we've had to turn around and uh, deal with the situation. It is tough on us uh, at the moment, but we will have to keep working hard. And as I say, the, the, the platform going forward now is, you know, over the next three games, I think we've got Southport at home, then we go to Halifax, then we've got Torquay at home. And we've got to turn around and have them next three games, a little group of matches there where we hope to, you know, recharge our batteries and look for points. Certainly the home games is where, you know, we've done very well so far this year, 15 out of 18. And we have to turn around and regroup. Lovely. Thank you very much, Gary. Safe journey home. Cheers.